them in a day in May. Hey everybody, and welcome back to the last compound of Compound Week. Yes, I am in my car, my first car video of Element A Day in May, and today's compound is carbon dioxide. Not to be confused with carbon monoxide, which is also car related, which is why you never, ever, ever run your car in a closed garage and why we have catalytic converters. But back to carbon dioxide. Last year I posted a science parody called Dear Future Onion and I talk about how you need to know all about the carbon cycle and how the earth recycles. It's basic biochemistry. Anyway, I just mentioned that because it was a lot of fun. It's carbon dioxide related and I enjoyed it. So go check it out. But for this video, I wanna get a little bit more specific than we breathe out carbon dioxide, plants breathe in carbon dioxide, and it's also used to make your soda fizzy. Companies for the last 10 years or since sustainability has kind of been in the forefront of mainstream concern um, have really been concerned about something called their carbon footprint. Um, but what does this mean? Uh, this is essentially the amount of uh, carbon that uh, output that they are contributing to the Earth's atmosphere. So a corn company, a company that manufactures corn, I'm just kind of making this up, uh, is gonna, their carbon footprint is going to be based on emissions from maybe the tractor from their farm or their factories, uh, the transportation vehicles like trucks that they use to transport the corn across the country, um, but also from offices that m they might use, uh, the lights, the air conditioning, because that energy is also uh, coming from somewhere, so something like a nuclear power plant or coal, and that is contributing to the carbon in the Earth's atmosphere. So to reduce their carbon footprint, they could do something like switch out all their light bulbs and uh, use LED lights or they could uh, make sure that their air conditioning is set to above a certain temperature like 74 degrees. I don't know what's what's not too high not too low basically to use less energy but something some companies also do is they'll do something like they'll pay another company to plant trees for them and since trees breathe in the carbon dioxide from the earth's atmosphere it will offset the amount of carbon that they are putting into it so they pay trees get planted and those trees are calculated to absorb a certain amount of carbon from the atmosphere to offset the sum of the carbon that they're putting into it one thing I heard of a while back that I think is extremely irresponsible was a company that was offering to fertilize the ocean using nutrients like iron, etc., to promote algae growth because algae is also a plant that can absorb carbon and um, offset companies' carbon footprint that way. Whole plethora of reasons I think this was a horrible idea and I hope that company is out of business. I didn't have time to look before filming this video, but maybe you can tell me in the comment section below, or what is your favorite part of carbon dioxide? Is it that your soda is fizzy? Um, I like that. I'm, I'm a fan. I know it's bad for you, but I like it every once in a while. Um, what else? What do you guys think about companies offsetting their carbon footprints? And what do you know about the carbon cycle? Let me know in the comments below. Check out my fun uh, future onion video from last year. Learn a little bit more about the carbon cycle. And um, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, tomorrow is Mythical Elements Week. <gasps> I'm so excited. Uh, it's the least scientific week, but it's a lot of fun. And I'm really excited to share it with you guys. See you tomorrow, bye. Element a day in May.